Hey guys, uh, just gonna do a quick video for you on how to unseize drum brakes on a trailer. This would work for a boat trailer or a utility trailer or any kind of trailer with drum brakes on it. So the tools you're gonna need for this are just a flathead screwdriver and a small flashlight. So you wanna know what kind of trailer you have. This is a surge trailer. So it actually uses at the front, when you brake, it pushes a little lever back, which pretty much sets the hydraulic into motion and sets the brakes up. You could just stick a screwdriver in here. This will stop the action and will stop the brakes from going on. So make sure your brakes aren't on when you're doing this. Um, that could be the problem right there for you. If you have electric brakes, make sure you disengage them um, before you start this procedure. So what you want to do is come around to the back side of your trailer or underneath your trailer or however you're going to get at the back side. You notice looking at the back of the drum, there's two little rubber grommets here. Um, hopefully these grommets are in yours and they're not missing. Um, if they are, it should still be the same. So using two hands, you could just pry off this rubber grommet here. Put it aside and grab your little flashlight. Essentially what you're going to be looking for in here So this is the basic picture of a drum brake. Now when you're looking in through the little hole, you're going to notice what you're going to probably see is the adjuster mechanism. And this is what you're looking for. So on the left of the adjuster mechanism, you'll see a little toggle. Um, it just has little spurs off of it. Now when you're adjusting this, I'm doing the left side of my trailer. So if I'm standing at the back of my trailer looking to the front, I'm doing the left side. So doing this, I'm just pretty much looking at the threads. If you can see the threads, you're gonna know which way the toggle needs to move. So if the threads are on the right-hand side, you wanna move it counterclockwise, so you wanna go up. The, thread th the threads for me are on the left, so I actually have to move the toggle downwards in order to go counterclockwise in order to loosen the brakes. And that's the way it works. So for the other side, it should be opposite as well. Now you see here, I just put my screwdriver in, I know where the toggle is, start with the top and just move it down. You should hear it clicking. Um, if you need to, what you can do is you can spray some brake cleaner in there. Try not to spray WD-40 in there, it can actually ruin the pads and stuff. Chances are you might have to take the tire off eventually anyways and replace the pads and the internal components. They should break free and you'd have to readjust it to get it back on, but it's pretty easy to do. But that's pretty much it guys. Uh, the rest is pretty easy. Just pretty much put the grommets back in. The tire next to it is pretty much the same setup. Um, instead of having two rubber grommets, it only has one, but everything's pretty much exactly the same. Okay guys, uh, thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions, comments, or anything, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. And please subscribe to my videos, and I'll post more if I can. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and have a good one.